Hi everybody, it's Thursday and we're doing our follow-up for Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman. Um, we, uh, I read you a story, this story on Tuesday called Two Great Women that gave you lots of facts about both ladies. And then you worked on, we started, we did just a few of these together and then you finished up the rest. So today we're going to check those out. And what we're going to, our learning target is still learning the significant contributions of Harriet Tubman and Rosa Parks, and we're still learning how to compare and contrast two historical figures. So today we're gonna to take what we have on this and be able to transfer it into your own words and writing. So we wanna go make sure that we have all of these correct before we go on. Under Harriet Tubman, we should have that she was a slave. A reward was offered for her capture. She was a nurse in the army during the Civil War. She lived from 1820 to 1913. She escaped through the Underground Railroad, and she sold pies to earn money. For Rosa Parks, we have she refused to give up her seat on the bus. She lived in Alabama. She made speeches and earned rewards. She went to school for only black kids. She lived from 1913 to 2005, and she listened to Martin Luther King Jr. Now, something about both of them. They were both African-American women. They were both courageous. They were both treated unfairly. They both thought that all people should be treated equally. Neither ladies gave up, and they both wanted to help people. All right, so that's how your sheet should look. Let me get a little close up here for you so you can make sure that yours is correct. All right, once you know that yours is correct, on the back of this sheet, I want you to write me a paragraph. So let's remember, a paragraph is three to five sentences. For this paragraph, because you learned so much about these ladies, I want five sentences. Remember the big three of every sentence. It must start with a capital letter, it must end in punctuation, and you need to spell your words correctly. Most of the words you need should be right here in this story. All right, so if you don't know how to spell it, go back to the story. All right, three to five complete sentences. Make sure they have a verb, make sure they have a subject, all right, make sure that they have nouns. Okay, so what I want you to do is you need to write me two sentences on how Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman were different and three sentences on how they were the same. Okay, so that'll equal five sentences. Write it on the back of this sheet, okay, right here, or attach an extra piece of paper. That will be perfectly fine as well. All right, so this is your assignment for Thursday. Go get to work, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.